And if you missed that before, we just got a um, Pilates ball or a, a small pillow. I've got a, a towel for my knees. If you would like some extra padding today, otherwise it should be fine. Okie dokies. When we are ready, we are coming straight up onto our feet. We'll start with a few roll downs. Before we do, just allow the shoulders to circle back and down. Finding a nice tall spine. And then just settling the shoulders back and down here. I'm gonna turn the head over towards the right. And then bring it back through center and then over towards the left. All the way through center. And we're gonna sweep the arms all the way up, reaching to the ceiling. Take a breath in. And then exhale, circle the arms out wide, chin to chest. And we'll slowly roll ourselves down. Really take your time here. Feel into the body today. Bend your knees and then just give the upper body a little shake, a little sway from side to side. I like to close down the eyes if they're not already. And then from here, we're gonna inhale here and then slowly press through the feet, rolling yourself, stacking the spine. Continue to sweep the arms up and over. Exhale, coming on down. Think of gently drawing your navel in up towards the sky. Again, bending the knees if you need to, taking any little wriggles down at the bottom here. And then slowly pressing yourself all the way back up. Knees, hips, ribs, shoulders all stuck. We're going to go for one more here. Just Moving with breath. Notice where you're placing most of your weight, if it's forward or back, maybe somewhere in the middle. And then scooping up through the tummy, rolling ourselves all the way back up. So continue reaching the arms up and over. Interlace the hands up at the top. Bring both of your feet to come together to touch. So we're gonna take a nice side bend up and over towards the left here. Pressing your right rib cage out towards the side. And then pull yourself back in, stretching the knuckles up towards the ceiling. Let's come over towards our right. And again, we're gonna go up and over. You're finding that length up and out of the shoulders here. Pressing both feet firmly down, creating like a banana shape here. And then just gently releasing the arms all the way down. I'm just going to step forwards because I've got my wall here. You're going to reach all the way out in front. Just going to make myself nice and big. Reach the arms out directly in front of you here. Let the shoulders fall down the back. Now we're going to open on out, just following that right arm as far as you can go. As far as you can go all the way and then just drawing it back here. So let the pelvis move around and then taking it to the other side. As far as you can go, keep reaching. You might surprise yourself. Exhale to come back. We're going to do that again. So inhale, big breath here, fill up the lung. Exhale, pulls you back. Inhale, reaching. Try not let the shoulders slide up and down. I'm gonna try and keep them down in their pockets. Over towards your right. Let's go one more over here. And then one more over towards the left. And exhale. Just placing the hands down by your side. If you are, if you're um, standing front ways and your mat is the other way, just Come to the back of your mat so that your mat is directly out in front of you. 
Let's take one more breath in, take the arms straight up to the sky. And like you're diving in a pool, I want you to start to round through the tummy, through the upper back. Coming all the way down. Let your hands come onto the floor. And then we'll gently just walk ourselves out into a downward dog shape. So walking the hands out nice and slowly. Get that nice stretch up the back of the legs. I'm just gonna pedal the feet one at a time. Check in with yourself if you're clenching onto your jaw, if you're looking around, just let the head hang. Good, and then just from here, I want you to shift into a plank. Just come into a plank position. You might wanna drop the knees to start off with, just depending on how you're feeling today. If you're feeling strong, you're in that full plank. Holding here, noticing the tummy muscles really need to engage here. And then just press back, come into that downward dog shape again, and take a little pedal through the feet. So we're just releasing, taking a bit of pressure off the wrists here, sending it more into the back. And again, we're gonna shift forwards, come into that plank position, holding here just for five, four, three, two, one, press back. We're gonna do that one more time. Little pedal. Shifting all the way into that plank, holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Drop the knees down and then just sit back, give the wrists a little bit of a roll. So making our way back onto our hands, let's just take a few cat cows here. So just focusing on our breath. So you will inhale, sink the belly, and then exhale, really drawing up through the ribs, press the mat away, arching through the upper back. And again, inhale forwards. Exhale. See if you can take really big breaths here and exhale completely all of the air. Just one more here, like a balloon deflating. Rib cage draws in. Beautiful. And then just coming into your neutral spine, give your shoulders a little wriggle, give the tail a little wriggle. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of move with a more of a flow here. So we're gonna do a cat cow. From there, we press back, we hold, and then we shift into our plank. We hold again for that five seconds here. Remember knees can drop. And then we come back, cat cow, send the hips high, and then the full plank. We're gonna do that five times, okay? Now, if I might move a little bit quicker or a little bit slower. I just want you to move with breath here. And essentially, we're just gonna warm up, build a bit of heat through the body. Alrighty, so from here, sink the belly, lift the chest, inhale, and then exhale. Tuck the toes, send the hips high, holding here. Shift yourself forwards, come into that plank, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Just drop the knees, and again, sink the belly, inhale. Exhale. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips high, really press the mat away here so we're strong through the shoulders and shifting into that plank. Lifting up nice and tall, three, two, one. That's round two. And again, inhale forwards, exhale back. Hips high, shift forwards, holding five, four, three, two, one, tummy's starting to shake. This is round four. Full plank. Five, three, two, one. Last round here. We'll give our wrists a little break after this one. Hips back. Stretch the heels down into the plank. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one, and we're down. Just uh, bring the knees together, curl yourself into a little ball and just let the breath settle here.
when you're ready, slowly rolling yourself all the way up, spin, uh, swing your legs around to the front and grab a hold of your prop, whether it's a ball or a pillow. So um, if you've got any lower back stuff today, you're going to pop the ball at your lower back. If you've got two pillows, you can wedge them in there. If your lower back is feeling okay today, what you're going to do is you're just going to hold on to the ball, okay? So we just want to protect the lower back and make sure that we, when we roll halfway back that we're scooping underneath, we're really tucking under. All righty, so whichever option you're going for, we're, staying, we're starting with a nice tall spine, reaching the arms out in front. And then again, just think of um, sliding your shoulders back and down. Feet are planted firmly onto your mat and then exhale, ribs draw in and down, scoop the tailbone under, creating that C curve through the spine. We're just here at halfway. Take a breath in. Exhale, start to reach the arms forward, lead with the crown of the head and then we restack the spine. Exhale, scooping underneath. Now we don't want to let our tummy switch off. Keep the feet nice and flat exhale coming through reaching the ball or reaching your fingertips through depending on where your prop is exhale again scooping down if it feels good for you your lower back's happy come a little bit deeper challenge yourself exhale start to reach forwards so you can start to feel that there's no real stop there's no real um beginning and end we're just continuing moving with breath exhale restacking the spine really nice let's just go for another two full exhales we've got one more here Holding here, everyone come and meet me at that halfway position. We're just gonna lift the arms and then lower. And again, lift and lower. Now, if you are lifting your arms and you're losing that connection through the tummy, you're probably lifting the arms too high, okay? Otherwise, just keep them nice and straight. Just hold that position. Last five, four, three, two, one, hold here, take a breath in and then exhale coming all the way up. Ooh. Pop your prop down, just swing the legs out, give them a little shake. Finding that nice tall spine. So I'm going to swing my legs around to you and I want you to just take the feet a little bit wider than um, mat width or towel width. So a little bit wider here. You're going to pop your prop out in front and find a nice tall spine. So we're gonna go for one forward reach where I, we've done this heaps of times where crown of the head comes forwards and then lower back presses back. So we're creating that C curve. We reach and then we restack. And then from there, we're gonna bring our hands to our head. We're gonna go for our saw. So we're coming for a little side to side without our feet dancing around. We come back to the ball, we press down as we pull back, we restack and then bring our hands side to side. All righty, so we'll take a breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, start pressing your prop out in front as you pull the ribs back. Someone's pulling you by your bra strap behind you. And then slowly restack the spine, find the tallest version of you, hands behind your head, take a breath in. Exhale to rotate, quite tight. Inhale back through center and then over to the other side, exhale. Come back through center. And then exhale, start to press forwards again. Keep the legs active if you can. So toes are peeling back towards you. Restack the spine, hand on top of hand. Take a breath in, exhale. 
Inhale, back. Exhale. Coming through center, one more. Exhale, pressing forwards. So we're getting that nice stretch up the back of the legs, maybe a gentle pull at the lower back here. We want to keep the tummy on the whole time. It's challenging just sitting up like this. Exhale, coming a little deeper. Can you rotate a little deeper? Come back through center, inhale. Exhale, good, keeping those elbows nice and wide. Inhale, and then exhale. We've just got one full round here. Can you bring your prop forwards towards your ankles? Exhale, restack. Lifting up out of the hips, inhale, and then exhale, come a little deeper. Following that elbow back through center, we've got one more here. Exhale. And then coming all the way back. Give the legs a little shake, relax the feet. Hip flexors are probably screaming at you. Take the feet nice and wide and we'll do a little windscreen wiper. Soften through the upper thighs there. You tend to grip a lot. Alrighty, so come back into that position again as much as you would hate this position, right? <laughs> Take the feet a little bit wider now and you can use your fingertips on either side just to kind of prop you up to begin with. Send the fleshy parts out the back. Alrighty, so from here, take your arms out nice and wide. We're gonna inhale here. And then exhale, start to twist all the way across the body, reaching up and over. Whether you touch the toe or not, it's irrelevant. I want you to find length out of the fingertips. Keeping both sit bones down. And then again, we're inhaling, coming up. Exhale, reaching across the body. Maybe past the toe if you're nice and bendy. <laughs> Inhale, coming up. Exhale, reaching, reaching past the toe. And again, let's start to pick up the pace a little bit. The back hand. Whatever's coming to the back is still stretching out nice and long. So I'll spin sideways. Inhaling as you rotate, exhale as you twist. We're gonna go for another four in your own time. Good, can you maybe get your ear to your thigh? <laughs> Two more. And one, come through center, relax the arms, relax the legs. Again, take any sort of little shakes, little wriggles through the legs. Now the fun part, the transition onto the floor. <laughs> All righty, so grab a hold of your prop. You're gonna send your legs out nice and long, holding on out in front, point your toes. Take a breath in and then exhale, we start to scoop, we start to round slowly, slowly, slowly. Coming on down. Ooh, for three, for two, for one. <sighs> Take the arms up and over. Big breath here, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale. So just pop your prop over to the side. Bring your arms in, bring the knees towards your chest and we'll take a little rock from side to side. Alrighty, so we worked on this last week. We're gonna revisit it again. My core was absolutely on fire from this last week. I'm sure yours was too. So we're gonna work with our single leg first. So using that just um, the closest leg to the camera first and then we'll make sure that we swap over, <laughs> we even it out. So to begin with, hands are on hip bones. Just move this out of the way. Hands are on hip bones, elbows are out wide. Front leg, we're gonna tap up and down. So just tapping the toe rather than putting the whole foot down. And we wanna be able to try, we wanna be able to do this without dropping or rocking through the pelvis. So just noticing 
what happens in your body it might be a little bit different today it might be the same as normal as usual and then when you're ready just going to bring your arms straight up to the sky shoulder blades are heavy pulling tummy in let's just go for another four three hinging from the hip not the knee and one bring that same leg up i'm going to take the opposite arm stretch it away do you stretch the leg and then draw it back in inhale as you stretch it away exhale pull it in now if you want you can point the toe or you can flex the foot totally up to you whatever feels stronger keeping the ribs pulling in and down so the space around your back we want to try and keep it nice and still there's no arching just another four three two and one bring that leg back in and then hands support the head we're going to lift our head lift our shoulders eyes to belly button and then as you lower stretch the leg exhale everything pulls in towards the center exhale to lift i want you to find a little pause up at the top and then we lower back down. So fully controlling this chest lift here, not just flinging ourselves. How's our hip flexors feeling? Yeah. Now from here, we're gonna add a twist. Twist, elbow to knee, stretch it away. And again, stretch it away. Notice what the other leg is doing. Is it bouncing around? Is it bopping around? Just another four here, stay with me. Leg is not gonna fall off, I promise. One more. And then we're coming back in, bring that knee in towards your chest. Take a little rock, take a little roll. Oh yeah, feeling that. Now before we do it all again on the other side, I want you to grab a hold of your prop, straighten the legs out, enjoy that full body stretch here. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, start to reach your hands, lift your head, lift your shoulders, and then we're coming all the way up. Yes, we are. Oh, restuck the spine, take a breath in here. Exhale, scooping back. Try to keep those legs nice and still. Shoulders down, melt them down. Oh, let's go. Two more here. Inhale. Exhale. Eyes to feet. Try not to use that momentum as hard as it is. Restack the spine. Good. Control. Yes. <laughs> One more here. One more. Exhale. Come on up. Three, stack the spine, we're coming all the way down. You've forgotten about that first side, hopefully. <laughs> oh, and then taking that full body stretch. Shrug the shoulders. And let that one go. Bring both knees in towards your chest again. Take any sort of movements to prepare yourself mentally <laughs> and physically for our other side. Keeping your front leg Nice and still, and your back leg now. Look at our little toe taps. Straight into it. So not just concentrating on the working leg, concentrating on the supporting leg. Hip bones are staying nice and level with the pubic bone and with the belly button. Floating those arms up into door frame let's go for another five
Two. One, holding here, taking your opposite arm. Exhale, reach it in. One of those ones, don't think about it too much. Other arm, other leg stays absolutely still. Hip flexor starts to work here. Focus on the breath. Final four. Three. Two. One. Bring your hands behind your head. Stretch the leg out. And we're lifting and lowering, curling in towards the center. And then stretch it long. Exhale. Again, finding that pause, it's not a race. You're gonna feel it a little deeper, a little stronger when we really take our time to focus on what we're doing. Which is the fun part, isn't it? <laughs> Four more here, and then we add our twists. Three, lead with the sternum, final two. One, stretch it out and across. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Curl up and across, you've got this. Final four, if we give those legs a little rest. One more, make it a goodie, and we're down. Oh. <laughs> Let those legs just fall out to the side if you need to give your hips a little shake here. Woo. Take a full body stretch now, reach the arms up and over. We're gonna bring the knees up in towards your chest. Transitioning into the exercise now, rolling like a ball. Literally, we're rolling. So I'm going to demo it to you if you've never done it before. And, well, see how you go. If your spine's not happy in this position, I'll give you another option. So we're going to make our way up to a seated position. You're literally curling into a ball. You want to draw your chin in towards your chest whilst keeping your forehead sort of glued towards your knees. We're gonna just roll back to the shoulders and then come up. See if you can hover and not let the feet touch. And again, we come back just to the shoulders, making sure that we don't come onto our neck. All right, if this is too much for your spine, what you can do is you're just gonna stay on your back with your opposite arm to reach. That's your other option. Otherwise, let's have a little bit of fun. <laughs> challenge yourself finding that sweet spot am I right coming up can you keep the head down the whole time no cheating <laughs> good just another few here last three two keep the tummy in And one. Oh, amazing. All righty. So I'm going to get you to come onto your hands and knees. We'll give um, our back a little break. Yeah, I'm going to pop the towel now um, under my legs because my knees are a little bit knobbly today. So hands and knees. We're going to take the front leg now straight out. We've got some glute work here, my favorite. <laughs> so front leg, we're gonna stretch it on out, keeping the hip bones parallel to the floor. And we're just going to lift and lower. So we're pointing our toe. The leg is nice and long here. Lengthening out of the thigh bone here. So you, what feels like 
you know, not much to you might be a lot. So what I mean by that is some of the time we'll really lift the leg up here, not thinking that we're doing much. Really, at the end of the day, I want you to just keep your heel level with your glute. So where the hamstring inserts just around here, the crease, we want to feel that really activating here, gentle squeeze. Just another four, three, two, hold it up one. Now flex the foot now, I've got pulses. Really small, five, four, three, two, one. We point the toe, we're gonna to bend the knee in. Keep bending the knee in towards your chest, round into a cap stretch. And then we're gonna send it all the way out. Now we get to arch the back and then exhale. So the knee won't touch the floor. It's just gonna pass through center. Exhale. Inhale, stretch it away. Legs are on. Scoopy, scoopy. Don't point your toe too hard because you get a cramp like me. <laughs> and scoop. Let's go for another four. And in. Three. Two. One. Send that leg back out again. Flex your foot. Little lift, little lower. We have those pulses again. Yes, we do. <laughs> Keeping it nice, short and sharp. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Yes, we are so not done. We're pulling heel in. Extend it long. Pull it in. Extend it long. Little flex of the heel in. Little point of the toe out. And one. Point. Two. Point. <laughs> Feeling that opposite glute working? Yeah. Come onto your elbows if you're feeling a little wristy. My wrists are a little bit sore today. Last five. You know what's coming after this? Four. We have pulses. <laughs> Three. And two. One. Hold it. Pulse. Pulse. Yes, we do. No surprises here. Little pulses staying really strong. Breathe through it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and let that leg just come in. Give your bum a little wriggle. We survived. Now, stretch that same leg out. I promise there's no more pulses, I promise. We have one more here. We're gonna paint a nice big rainbow up to the side of the mat and then up to the other side. Can you keep your opposite hip nice and still? is when we start to get a little bit sloppy and a little bit slidey. I start to feel like I'm <laughs> melting into the hip here. Readjust. We got this. Last four. Three. Last two. Ah! <laughs> Last one. And we're in. Okay. <laughs> now we get the real rest. Sit back onto the ankles and just let your breath settle here. I don't know if it's just me, but one week since we've last seen each other, it actually does feel like a lot longer than a week. When you're ready, <laughs> we get to go all again. No surprises. I'm going to spin around. We're gonna reset through the hands, through the shoulders. If our elbows worked for you, we'll go for that one. So send the leg out, flex the toes. No, I lied, point the toes. We're gonna to start with a point. Little lift, little lower. A little lift and lower. Whether you're on your elbows or your hands, I want you to square off through the shoulders and find center evenly distributed. And lower.
keeping it nice and small. Last five, four, three, two. Let's revisit those pulses. Hold it here, flex the foot. Little lift, little lower. So all through the tummy, not moving. From the hips down. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in, round through the back. Oh yeah, don't knee yourself in the face. <laughs> Send it away. Bring it on in. Controlling it on out. Get that little extension through the back if that feels okay for you. Otherwise, just send it back out, keeping the spine more neutral. Otherwise, enjoy that cat cow. Moving, flowing cat cow. Staying strong here. Last four. Three. Two, one. Oh yeah, send it straight out the back. Don't let that foot drop. Little lift, a little lower. Pulse is here. So hopefully you can feel your supporting hip glute slash hip glute switching on. And then tummy as well. Staying really strong for three, for two, one. We curl it in. Point the toe, curl it in, point the toe. Try not move your knee, just hinging. Yeah, so it's not bouncing around. Oh yeah, feeling that one straight away. Last four, three, two, one, send it out. Yes, we are. We're pulsing it again. <laughs> you can you can curse at the, the pulses. You're on mute. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> I know you're all thinking it. Last four, three, two, one. Take a second here. Give the tail a little wiggle. I feel like this side's worse. <laughs> We've got our we've got our rainbows on the other side. One more. Here we go. We've got this. Get in the zone. Send it out. Tapping up and over. And up. And over. Keep that length through the leg here. Staying absolutely nice and still through the hips. Final five. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, coming down. Oh my goodness. And just letting yourself be nice and heavy. Oh my goodness, we need to stretch out those legs. Come on to your back. Actually, before we do come on to our backs, just swing the legs around. If you've got a wall or a couch or something that you can sit up against, just come up, send the legs out. And just give the legs a little shake here. So we're forced to sit up nice and tall. If it's too much for you when we fold, have a little bend through the knees, okay? So you'll be can't really see because my black tights, but you'll be kind of more like that rather than that. Alrighty. So <laughs> reaching the arms up, take a breath in here. And then exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Just let the hands fall where they want to fall, whether it's ankles, shins, knees, toes. That's not the song. <laughs> and then again, just roll yourself up again. Take the arms up, breath in. Oh my gosh, my legs are screaming at me. <laughs> and then coming all the way down. One more here. Reaching up. Exhale. Okie dokies. 
sitting up nice and tall. Now, if your feet aren't happy in this position, what you can do is either bring them together. So it's either one or two, or if neither are good, you just take your legs straight out. It's all good. Mermaid. Left hand out to the side, reaching up and over. Well, whatever position your legs are in, you want to try and bolt down right hip. And then coming up and we take it over to the other side. And again. Up. And then over. Sweep the legs around if you're like me. Readjust. And then again, we're going to reach up and over. So left hand is down. Sorry, right hand. And then coming up. And again, reaching up and over. Beautiful, send the legs around. We'll take a few moments just on our backs. Take your feet out nice and wide and just let your knees drop in towards the center. Hands can come on your lower tummy. And we're just gonna take a few breaths here before we resume life <laughs> might want to close down the eyes or even just lower them down just paying attention to your breath if it's changed at all and keeping the eyes closed if that's where you are just do a little windscreen wiper through the legs from side to side. Next time the legs come up, just bring them in towards your chest. Staying in that little ball shape and then rocking from side to side, maybe around in some circles. And then when you're ready, just making your way up to a seated position, however that looks for you. We'll finish off with one roll down. So coming up onto your feet, forward fold, just hanging over the thighs, getting that length and that stretch up the back of the legs. From here, take a nice deep breath in, filling up the lungs, filling up the back. And then when you're ready, slowly pressing through the feet. Taking it really, really slowly. Let all the blood and oxygen race back up. Shoulders roll back and down. We'll take three circles. And letting the shoulders fall down the back. You guys are all finished for today. Thank you so much.